Here's a look at some of our biggest business stories of the week. Alberta is falling deeper into financial trouble. Low oil prices continue to do damage and the fallout from the Fort McMurray wildfire is now also taking a toll. The province's cash shortfall is growing. Its budget deficit is now expected to jump to nearly $11 billion. While the province moves ahead with its fiscal spending plan, here's another sign of the times. That one century old Western Wear store in Calgary is calling it quits. The price of oil it hit us pretty hard and it's been a, it's been a struggle the last couple years and uh, you know it, you get to a point where it just doesn't make any sense anymore. Canada's Olympic athletes brought home 22 medals, but those came at a cost. $120 million of government funding alone, which works out to about $5.5 million per medal. The athletes get the hardware, but is Canada getting the most out of that money? We can't say this is going to inspire people when we've watched participation declining. Medals are wonderful to win, but their impact on the society doesn't change anybody's lives except the athletes. And happy meals with a not so happy story. McDonald's recalled 33 million toys that came with its kids meals. The toy was a wristband step tracker. It gave at least 70 children blisters or other skin problems. But the recall also put the spotlight on McDonald's role as one of the largest toy distributors in the world. McDonald's was encouraging uh, children to move, to exercise, so the underlying intent wasn't really a bad idea, however, it kind of backfired, but it, it, it really points to the whole issue of using toys to promote fast food in general. For all of these stories and more, go to cbc.ca slash business and join our team on Twitter at CBC Business or me at Jacqueline CBC.